Hi puzzle lovers, welcome to the second part of my WJPC recap. So this video will focus on the pairs and teams puzzles that I solved in the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship 2023. My focus will be on the pairs and team partners that I puzzled with and the fellow Austrians that I met there. And again, I should say uh, that uh, this will cover only the rounds that I've participated myself. So it's not a general overview, but a very personal one. And uh, I will again talk a lot uh, and try to fill that while editing later with videos and pictures. And I will see how that will go. Some weeks before the championship, uh, it was possible to contact other participants via a contact form on the uh, homepage of the championship and I used it and I found my pairs partner Catherine from Luxembourg there. We didn't know each other and uh, we just formed a pair and then Sarah and Daniel from Switzerland, they contacted uh, Catherine and so I had my team. The team was called Svout Lux, Switzerland, Austria, Luxembourg. That is an international team. We were rep representing Switzerland. Well, I did never puzzle with Catherine, Saro or Daniel before. So after our individual rounds, I met with Catherine. She was in group A and I was in group C individually. So we were finished at midday of the first competition day and in the afternoon we met and we solved two puzzles, one of, one of which was zebras at the water hole. I brought that to Spain and the second puzzle was called pink cat in the meadow. That was a puzzle that Catherine brought. So for the pink cat in the meadow, we needed a little bit over one hour, one hour, eight minutes. I'm reading my notes. And for the zebras in the water hole, we needed 48 minutes approximately. We didn't really time on the seconds, but that's an approximate time. And the recording went a little bit uh, off, but from both of the puzzles, I have the first one or two minutes and rewatch watching these videos was very fun for me. So rewatching them now some weeks later. Also. Okay, machst du auf oder soll ich? Wie ist, wie ist der Lieber? Vielleicht kann einer es auch so machen, und der du? andere nimmt es dann raus. Mhm, ja. Sag du, was willst du das Nee, ich mach dann mhm. ich mach das ja. und dann mhm. nimmst du es raus. Okay. 3, 2, 1. Ah, okay. Das können wir schon ein lassen. Und das wieder so das Klo. Und wir sind schon ein Platz zusammen. Die tun wir auf die Seite, die retten wir. Ähm, ich suche mir die also den Rahmen raus. Mhm. Okay. Also den Rand. Mhm. Dann tue ich auch umsortieren und, und tue die Randteile auch mit. But let's get into the competition now. On Friday, very early in the morning, Catherine and I were placed on table 45, or that was our starting number, and we had to puzzle this nice student days. But before I talk about the puzzle, I will go into the rules a little bit. There were 112 participants in our group uh, and only uh, 112 pairs in our group and only 30 of these pairs would advance to the final. The best pairs of each country up to 15 and the rest of the spots would be filled by time. Okay, the national rule was discussed quite a bit, uh, sometimes even controversially, because uh, yeah, 
some people think that only the time should matter, but since everybody can compete and several countries are very overrepresented, the organizers like to have uh, different countries in the final, and that's the reason why the nationals rule exists. But in the pairs and in the team final, actually, they could have skipped it because there was not a single team or a single pair who qualified via this national rules. Why is that? Uh, it's quite easy to explain. Let's take our semi-final. In our semi-final there were about 40 different countries and if you want to reach the best or if you want to be the best participant of your country and you want to be under the 15 best countries of these 40, you have to be really, really fast. So uh, if you reach this goal, you would land in the top 30 anyway. So no team outside of the top 30 time-wise would qualify. Uh, yeah, that's the case in the team round as well, similar to the pairs round. And I would predict that the same might happen next year in 2024. The rules are out already and they are quite similar. And you could say, yeah, that's fine because 14 different countries are guaranteed per qualification round and that is enough. So if the countries are spread out nicely anyway, you don't have to, you don't need to use the national rule, but it's there for extreme cases. Okay, if you plan to go to Spain next year and you form an international team and you can choose which country you represent, you don't really have to worry, you don't need to, ch to choose the smaller of the two countries because the country rule will not play a role anyway. But let's go back to the tournament of 2023. Let's analyze our puzzle. Catherine and I did this puzzle student days. It's quite difficult. It's especially difficult for pairs because it's very busy and only one of the two participants can use the box nicely. So you can't take the box to you. Actually, if I remember correctly, there was, yeah, I do. There was a post, additional poster inside, so one could have split it up, we didn't do so. Catherine and I chose to build the puzzle sideways, so that we could both puzzle in the right direction. And I think that was a very good idea, because that also uses the puzzling space ideally, and the puzzle can be very near to the box. And this was surely a very good idea. I think we did very good. well. Catherine sorted the last three piece, 30 pieces or so. She asked me if she should sort and I said it's not necessary for me, but she can do so. And I'm very happy that she did because that saved us quite some time. And in the end, we celebrated when I saw that there was a camera nearby. I celebrated even more the show for the cameras uh, and yeah, we had fun, but of course we did not know if we would qualify for the finals at the moment. But I, but, uh, I tried to uh, Da Vinci. Ah, uh, yeah. And that picture, but okay. it's so difficult. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and some 10 or 20 minutes later, we had the results and we were on 31st position. So remember that only the best 30 advance and we were the 16th best country. Remember only the 15 best countries advance. So we were quite uh, yeah, frustrated because that it was so close. And luckily some Almost an hour later, I realized by the live stream that the organizer ma made a mistake. They wrote down one time incorrectly. It was not our time, but the time of another team. And it was very obvious from the live stream. So uh, this was corrected. So we were the 30th best team in our round. 
and we advanced to the finals and the organizers reacted to this incident. I think it was because of, of our case that not 30 teams would advance to the final, but 33. So from each of the qualification rounds A, B and C, 33 teams would advance. In that way the organizers guaranteed that the best 30 would be in the final in any way, even if, we are there, if there were some small timing issues. Because you have to uh, take into consideration the timing is written down by volunteers and you can have writing mistakes, there can be typing mistakes, you can I think even there were two clocks uh, running simultaneously, so they might be not perfectly synchronized. So many things can go wrong, so small errors will occur now and then, and the organizers, I think, reacted quite nicely. Yeah, that was semi-final of the pairs. Catherine and I qualified for the finals. And one day later, on Saturday, there was the team round. The rules were quite similar. Uh, from approximately 80 to 85 teams, 50 would advance to the final. And the two fastest teams per country would advance up to 25. And the rest of the spots would be taken by time. Our team was a heavy underdog, not, not one of us qualified for the individual finals, so we were surely not one of the stronger teams, but we chose our puzzles wisely. So in the team quality we were given four puzzles, which I will show in an insert, and our team chose two of them. The first puzzle was the shell collector, I have no video footage because choosing the puzzle was more important than setting up my camera. Uh, I think we did quite well at the shell collector. Uh, I puzzled the bottom right, the main part of this box and the, I did the trees on the top right and puzzled uh, part of the sky. That was my parts and it took us approximately one and a half hours and then we got to the Berlin at night. I think it's called yeah, Berlin at night on my box and uh, this is a very beautiful puzzle. We were not sure if we should take it because it looks a little bit difficult but for our team did this uh, yeah, turned out perfectly because I just started with the black, blue and the blues. I did more or less the whole of the sky except of the balloon and the, and the lighter blue. And the rest of the team did the large part, the colorful part. And so they three, they could talk with each other in French. I do not speak French. Uh, so I had my own part. I did not need to communicate because that was a little bit difficult anyways and yeah when I finished the sky they finished the rest of the puzzle so we were relative to our uh, yeah of our puzzling skills we were very fast and we finished both of these puzzles in the time it took us two hours and 50 51 minutes approximately and that was only nine minutes before the end of the round, so we were happy as well, we were celebrating. Very easy to lose pieces in a team race. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody, Tammy Hayes says, count me in to Diarna and Alana. Tammy Hayes? Oh, Tammy. <laughs> Maybe we can bring one to the Canberra Ah, somebody says they just watched Wicker Kittens last night and they saw that. The Sistine Chapel puzzle on the ceiling. <laughs> that's awesome. Well done. This is a, a Swiss team that's just finishing. Well done. High fives all around. And it turned out we took the 46th spot of our group and 50 advanced, so we uh, reached the final as well. It was my second final after missing the individual final. I qualified for the 
pairs and the team final and I will tell about that right away. Are you ready for the time? So on Saturday night, the pairs final started. There were 99 pairs from several countries. We had the start number 88, so it's Catherine and me representing Luxembourg. We had to solve a 1000 piece puzzle, had two hours to complete. And the puzzle was the infamous Boston 2189 by Czech Otario, Otanio, sorry. And yeah, many participants did not like this puzzle a lot because it was very late in the evening. We had no that natural light anymore. And most of the participants had competed in the individual final directly before. So they were tired and it was yeah, not the easiest of the puzzles. One could really say it was the hardest puzzle of the competition because uh, it's so colorful, so busy and each pattern repeats in different areas. But uh, I was rested. I was not competing in the individual final. I had a nap in the afternoon and I loved this puzzle from the moment I saw it. It's a puzzle uh, that I, uh, yeah, I like because I'm rather good at colors, patterns, and rather sh bad at shapes, piece shapes. So uh, there were lots of things to find. And while Catherine did the border and the yellow part on the top, I just picked out those stripes, the lots of buildings, patterns that repeated and built uh, several of these buildings in the middle. And after that, Catherine and I just filled the gaps uh, as good as we could. And yeah, then the time already finished. Uh, only nine of the 99 uh, teams or the 99 pairs could finish this puzzle. In, within the two hours that were allotted. So uh, it was no surprise that we were, of course, not a one of these uh, teams. I think, I guess, that Catherine and I would have needed one uh, a half hour, one half hour more. So two and a half hours could have been enough. And after two hours, when the time was over, we had about 700 pieces finished. And that put us in 67th place. And uh, I'm very proud and I think Catherine was too, because 67th position out of 340 pairs that competed in total means that we reached the top 20% of all the pairs that competed and that's just incredible and uh, that is the best result that I reached at this uh, world championship. Neither individually nor in the team we were that good. Okay, that wraps up the pairs competition and we are now in the last day. So on Sunday morning there was the final event, the grand finale, the team final. We had to solve two puzzles within three hours and 
The first puzzle was Gauguin's Aurea Rea puzzle, uh, which, uh, which brought us to a halt. Uh, it was too difficult for us, for our team. I tried to do the dog and I did it, but it took me ages and also this, these huge areas of solid colors, we just couldn't do it in a fast time. So it took us approximately two hours before we could finish it. <laughs> Das Bett ist im Boden. Ja, ist Eben, runter schauen. Und dann haben wir das zweite Puzzle und natürlich in einer Stunde konnten wir es nicht fertig Das war der einfachste von den beiden Puzzles, mit Miss judged that uh, and we could not finish it and since lots of areas were still left Fifto, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. sixth position out of 100 in the final. I think there were approximately 160 or 170 teams in total. And yeah, in the final we were tired. Uh, it was not our best time uh, uh, or not, not our best result. But to be honest, we were happy that we could reach the final. That was a surprise, even that and a success and I'll take it. I'll take the 96th spot and I'm happy that I reached uh, the final and could solve two more puzzles also with my lovely team. Okay, that wraps up my competitions, namely the pairs and teams competition and I can announce that I will return in 2024 if, no, if nothing unexpected happens, I plan to have an Austrian pair and an Austrian team, if nothing unexpected happens. Uh, Catherine, by the way, she will return with a Luxembourg pair and team. It was a success that both of us, uh, and I enjoyed puzzling with her a lot, but it's fun to, to represent your own country, to have an Austrian pair, for her to have a Luxembourg pair and now that we know quite a lot of puzzle people uh, within our own country that is possible and that's just gorgeous and that was one of the yeah, very very nice and uh, enjoyable things uh, at the world championship that one could meet or I could meet lots of people from around the world also lots of people in my own country and I wanted to include the Austrian companions at 2023 also, but I think I have to do another extra video. It's too much uh, for one video to cover that also. And a lot of things are happening. There is a Verein, how do you call it in, in, in English? So there's a club that has been formed uh, in the south of Austria, where we can... Uh, yeah, it's very, very new and there have been the first online competitions, there have been the first uh, live meetings, puzzle meetings uh, in Vienna. So the puzzling life is growing in Austria and probably, hopefully, there will be another video if I manage to film and edit it in time. Okay, that was it for today. Have a nice new year 2024.